What is going on guys? My name is Fusions and today we're going to be opening up this Bakugan Kubo Legendary Battles 2 pack. It's a really cool one. So let's get to it guys. So here we have one of the brand new Bakugan products. This is the Kubo Legendary Battles 2 pack because we have two Kubos in here. One of them is the Nilius Kubo and the other one is the Dragonoid Kubo. And this is a only a target uh, products so it is exclusive to target and I think the Nilius Kubo is exclusive to the two pack itself uh, because I have not seen anything regarding the Nilius uh, outside of this two pack but the Dragonoid you can get the single pack for the Dragonoid uh, Kubo I actually did a video on the single pack so make sure you go back watch that video and then come back to this one but yeah here we have this Really cool two pack and I'm excited to see the Nilius. Uh, we also do have some other products uh, released alongside this one, which is the Deca King uh, Kubo. And then we have like some other, this four pack that I don't really like. So I don't think I'm gonna get either of those. Yeah, I don't think I will. I don't really want those. We do have two character cards, two gate cards and four Baku cores. So let's just open this up and let's get to it. Let's see these uh, cosplay cubos. All right, so now that I took everything out of the box and everything's uh, good here, uh, we're gonna take a look at the cores first. Here we have uh, four cores, um, two green fist, one flame fist, and one shield. So the flame fist is a plus five attack or damage. We have the green fist, which is a minus three um, damage or attack. Uh, I think it's just damage plus 100B. Uh, for this green fist and then aquas and pirates get plus three which is uh, pretty nice and then we have one of the best shields chaos and ventus get plus 400 b power so that's a pretty pretty nice one i would say now let's take a look at what's in here in this little bag we have the character cards and the gate cards which i don't want to spoil just yet we'll take a look at the character cards afterwards we'll leave that till the end but let's see what gate cards come in here. I'm curious to see. Ooh, okay, all right. That's that's nice. So I think this is an exclusive gate card because I've never seen it before. It is a Kubo, as you guys can see. And we got Kubo number four there. So I don't know if it's like a subset. And it says E31, but I'm pretty sure the, uh, the Geoforge Dragonoid also said 31. So I'm not sure how this, like in the set, I'm not sure what number it actually is, but I've never seen this. So I'm pretty sure this might be exclusive to this two pack. And you guys know, I like collecting the gate cards. So that's a nice one. Look at that Kubo. And it looks like it might be a Deca. It looks huge. And then the second one we have, oh, nice. We got another uh, Kubo gate card and this is number three. So this is um three and four. Very, very nice. It looks like it's getting attacked there. That's really good. Another nice gate card that I don't have, which is really, really nice. I was really bummed out about the single packs because I think most, if not all, came with like old gate cards, which um, it wasn't great. I obviously I prefer like new gate cards. But now let's take a look at the character cards. First, we're gonna take a look at this one first. Okay, so we have Pyrus Cubo. But in this case, it is Dragonoid Kubo, double green fist, 600 B power, one attack. And then these usually have abilities that are kind of funny because this one has a shield. If you land on a shield, you get double strike, but it does not carry shields. So yeah, it's kind of weird, kind of weak, very, very weak, I would say. So these are not like playable uh, Bakugan, in my opinion, they're more like collectible so if you like Kubo or you like these um like accessories that it comes with because this couple comes with the dragonoid mask um of course get this two pack or even get the single pack uh they're very nice they're very collectible for sure but like i said like to play with these and like to actually you know competitive wise i don't think it's worth it okay so let's take out the dragonoid first all right, so here we have this uh, Dragonoid Kubo, and as you guys can see, it is a pretty nice Bakugan. Yeah, it looks pretty cool. Um, the Kubo itself is red all over. It basically has a costume on, and then of course you can take this off 
like this. It is basically like a like a mask or like a helmet and you could put it right back on. Very cool. The cool thing about these is that you like I said, you get these accessories and you can change them up. You can put this on another Kobo or maybe another Bakugan. Yeah, so it's pretty cool. And uh, Kobo itself is uh, nice. I like the paint job on this. It looks pretty nice. I really like it. And uh, yeah, very simple to close. I'm gonna just gonna show you real quick. Put the ears up like this and then that's it. And the, the thing that I always mention about Kobo is that it's not really like round. It does have this little bump here on both sides. So when you roll it, it might like not roll perfectly. But yeah, that's Kobo. That's a uh, Pyrus Kobo. Nothing really much to say, but it does look pretty nice. And I like um, the Dragonoid helmet. And now for the moment I've been waiting for. Let's see this uh, Nilius Kobo or Darkest Kobo. So here are the stats. I'm already not expecting much. But let's see, we got a shield and a flame fist, so that's better than the other couple so far. 500 B power, 5 attack. That's actually pretty nice. It's medium, medium, I would say. Uh, 5 attack is pretty nice. Um, you land on a magic shield, you get plus 200 B power. And if you land on a green fist, you get plus 2 attack. As you guys can see, like I said, these are kind of funny because both of these abilities, well, it does not carry any cores for those abilities so you're you're gonna have to pair it up with uh something else that does and uh i wouldn't suggest using this uh, green fist if you are gonna use this for some reason um it actually does look nice because if you do land on a magic shield uh you will be with the best magic shield you'll be at 1350 with five attack which is actually pretty good so yeah that's uh that's actually nice this might be probably the only cosplay Kubo uh, that's kind of playable um, and it looks pretty cool I mean look at that art it looks nice and I really like these cards these like full art looking character cards they look pretty nice now let's take out the Bakugan and here it is it looks very very angry this Nilius mask or helmet looks amazing that's probably my favorite accessory from all of these cosplay cubos this nilius uh mask it just looks great look at this look how amazing that looks it's very very cool i really like it i like the colors on it and i like that they put um let me put this back on real quick let's see if i can do that there we go i like that they put the two they put two nilius heads on there it just looks amazing. I really like that uh, mask or helmet. I don't know what to call it. I think it's like a mask. It should be a mask. And then, uh, of course, I didn't mention on the Drago uh, Kobo, but you can flip the arms uh, up and down like that. But when you close it, you ha they have to be down. Again, once again, you flip the ears up like this to close it. And there we go. That's how it looks closed. Um, yeah, it looks amazing. I really like how this one is uh came out like the paint job on it the eyes look very like mean and um, um, of course it's nilius and just the yeah i can't get over it the mask the helmet looks amazing i really like this one so that's it for this opening of these legendary battles Kubo two pack and of course i have to tell you guys which team are you on comment below are you on the nilius Kubo team or on the dragonoid Kubo team which one let me know in the comments Make sure to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Bakugan content. I still have lots of stuff to open up for you guys, so just stay tuned and don't miss any videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.